technical teams which are working with their teams uh, to look at what is coming out from the field. The long and short of it, uh, according to what the commissioners have told us, that uh, they have already received 273 uh, um, Form 34Bs from the various constituencies. And I think at an earlier uh, statement that they made to the press, they actually identified those constituencies. Uh, some of these forms uh, are in their possession, but they require authentication and validation. And because the results that are contained uh, after verification and tallying by the returning officers at the, constitu uh, the constituency are final uh, and they cannot be changed, they wanted the returning officers to take accountability in, in regard to the authenticity of those forms. So they have required of some returning officers to come here uh, to take responsibility of those uh, forms that they, had, they have received. So I think that's an important thing to, to put into consideration uh, because the commission at the national level are saying that when it comes to accountability of the information that is contained in Form 34B, accountability rests with the returning officers at the constituencies because presidential elections are held at the constituencies. This was in response to our questions regarding how the information and telling was being done because the constitution is clear that presidential elections are held at the, constitu uh, the constituencies. And both from uh, 30, uh, 34A, the physical 34, from 34A, together with the scanned image which is transmitted to the returning officer at the constituency, is used for purposes of verification and tallying. And once that is done at the constituency, there is finality to that process. So they want the returning officers to take accountability. So we have some time to go. Uh, and those who are bringing unnecessary attention that the results are about to be declared, we did not get that indication uh, from the commission. And secondly, as regard the Form 34A, they have said they have not received all the forms. Uh, and they can only say that they have only received 29,000 forms out of the 40,883 forms that are supposed to come from the various polling stations. So about 25% of the forms are still out there in the field and have not reached the commission. Thirdly, the commission first, further made guarantees to look into the various issues that has, have been raised by our technical com committee, some of it which may be surprising, but coming from their own figures, from their own data. Our team here is using their own data, which is being made available to our technical team here, showing variance, and to some extent, this data has shown that in some polling stations, votes have been added to the Jubilee candidate, and votes have been taken away from our candidate. And if this is looked at thoroughly and properly audited, the results that have, have been displayed in this, uh, uh, on the monitors here and in the uh, IBC website may not be quite a reflection of what, what is contained in Form 34A and 34B. Quite apart from what we have from our telling centers, we have decided to use their own data, which is made available to us. And we have a, a five-page document which has been delivered to the commission to look at all those irregularities 
and very serious uh, omissions or very serious uh, malpractices that have emerged from the ground as is evident from the material that you have been given. Finally, or last but not least, we have given an offer to the Commission uh, and a challenge to the Commission that in order to bring this matter to an end, we should be given an access to their servers, and not just us, even Jubilee and other stakeholders, the religious leaders, the, the media, that you should be there, that we should look at their servers which ha is retaining all the raw data that has come from uh, the field. And more particularly, to be allowed to look at the hacking that took place, although the commission is, uh, has been talking from both sides of his mouth, because they said there was no hacking, and at one point they said there was an attempt, that we should look and audit at the activity uh, which um, uh, is emerging from the transactions from the 8th of August, August. at 12, from 12.30 noon, or more precisely 12.27 noon, after the, after the morning of 9th of August, 9th, uh, morning 2.30 a.m., the morning of 9th of August uh, this year, that we should look at uh, their servers uh, to, 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 to determine indeed whether such hacking took place. And we are quite sure that it, do, it did take place. But our note of finality is this, that if they can open those servers and we all look at it, we are prepared to accept the results of what is contained in those servers. Because the information we gave about who is winning and who is not winning was from those servers. And I think that that's, a, that's a challenge that we have also given to the diplomatic community and the religious leaders to encourage uh, the commission to allow that to take place. This is in, um, in, in, in compliance with section 44, subsection four of the Elections Act that says that whichever, whatever technology the IBC deploys in the elections must be, uh, to, uh, the objective must be to um, um, achieve verifiability, accountability, credibility, and transparency. And therefore, it should not be a matter which should be hidden from the stakeholders and the, play, uh, and, the, and the country as a whole. And we also, as uh, I'm being reminded by only Milio Diambo, we have a uh, uh, freedom of uh, or right to information, uh, which is guaranteed under the Constitution. <laughs> Otherwise, as our boss here has said, we want the country to be calm, but the country will only be calm if things are done openly, and that justice is not only done, yes. but seen to, have been done. to be done. Mm -hmm. And that is a major responsibility that rests on all our shoulders. Mm -hmm. So there should be no rush to judgment. We have some way to go. Question. And the chairman has said that all these matters we have raised, they are going, they are going, they are going to come back to us. So they, we still have a process. And, uh, the matter may not be closed as quickly as some people think. Thank you. And, and, and lastly, before you ask questions, the, our tiling center at Runda has again been uh, also attacked by the flying squad. And of course, that is an attempt also to try and uh, uh, interfere with the evidence that we, are, we have in our position. And I want uh, Senator Mudamba to say a little bit about that raid of the Tallinn Centre in Rwanda. Well, <clears throat> we 
uh, do not understand where the country is heading to under the leadership of, uh, of Jubilee. The law is very clear and uh, the, the, the Court of Appeal gave a ruling uh, that it is within the law for anybody or political parties to set up their uh, own telling centers. And within that law, we established several. And Jubilee has uh, sent the uh, uh, representatives. They've attacked the first one. And today, the news we are getting from actually through the electronic media, um, and specifically to say KTN and TV, is that um, there was an attack. And going by that, uh, well, what we are saying is that they are doing that to destroy the evidence that we have collected. That shows exactly that they have been involved in stealing uh, the faults. And what we are trying to do is to make sure that there is no evidence given at any given time. But from what we have seen today, even with the information that have been uh, You're watching the continued coverage of election 2017, Kivumbi 2017, here on 